Lenny, all good here? Yeah. Happy to. Get on. Oh, you kind, mister. If he uh, be so kind to take me to Legras, that's where I'm from. That's where my people is from. Sure, that's fine. Don't normally trust no outside man. No fence, mister. Just don't trust them much. Yeah. Quite all right, ma'am. I don't trust them much either. You seem like a horse rider? Yeah, your whole life, I bet. Horse don't help much in Lagrano. Need a horse can swim fine as a duck be much more used to us. Last horse we bud, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. The horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came in, took the other leg. Then the horse fell and died for a part time, could come by with a rifle on him. Ah, and there's no word of lie. Yeah. Jeez. You sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? Legras? Well, that's how life is. Hmm. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? I'm not looking to settle. You yeah. think when was the last time you spent the week in the same bed? How long ago was that? I asked you that it was a long time. No offense, but I bet it's been a long time for you. We getting close, don't dawdle now. on account of you being so kind. Hope I'd never have to be on that horse again, dang animals. to my shop please come look around have you used scent blocker before can really change a fella's luck out there use it well
Thank you for your help. All right, girl. Sorry, girl. Excuse me, I'm trying to find a man named Bronte. You know the name? Bronte? No, don't think so. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Hey there. Have you ever heard of a man called Angelo Bronte? Hmm, no. But fancy names like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. Opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Okay. Thank you.
stick him up, cowboy. That's just the way it goes, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. <laughs> oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. My has decided not to talk to me anymore. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Lamorne for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless we all get washed away. <clears throat> Excuse me. Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> I'll get you in a second. But let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff. From Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look. I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti-eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know I get. Oh, hey, friend. You, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Giddy up. Board it, sir. Buenos dias, señor. Now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not nauseous, you're nauseated. But have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? 
Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. Stop, you shit. It went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob Taylor. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Damn snitch! You better stop right now! Hey! <laughs> More on! Cucumber's definitely a fruit. Since when? Since forever. I read in the newspaper. Oh, so it must be true. Good news in this place, anyway. <laughs> this is fun, mister. I like you. Joe-san. talking about friend I ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte Senor Bronte the kid was gonna show me before he robbed me <gasps> now come on you new in town mister come on mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends mister but I ain't never seen you we ain't friends you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. 
He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Buongiorno. Kaiser, over here. Morning, friend. <laughs> there, girl. you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country.
There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Ah! You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. <laughs> Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Boys, we come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, 
we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figured... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Leave the horses here. This way. All right, let's see what's going on in here. I'll check this way. And keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us.
How'd they expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground? Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. I'm gonna push your head. You watch my back. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Why do I get the feeling Bronte's got his feet up laughing at us? Get yourself home. be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Let's go around the side. Come on. There's someone 
We're coming. Hide. I found a body. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Stay close. Get back to Dutch. Oh, that's it, girl. I think we lost. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. took your time. Where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you took your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Everything. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple on, country boys. Come on, girl. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Careful! Easy, girl. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know.
Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> what are you I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. He's back, all right. Hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating? Or what? Yeah. Oh, 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 good. good to have you back, kid. Oh, we yeah. missed you. Hey, hey, how about a song? Oh, how are you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Play us away! De la sierra, de la cielito lindo vienen bajando Un par de ojitos negros, el cielito lindo de contrabando De la sierra, morena, cielito lindo vienen bajando Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. No se alegran, cielito lindo, los corazones. Ay, 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 canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo, los Vine llorando y con la flor del trompillo me venía consolando. Yo soy como el coyotito que los revuelco y los dejo y me voy al trotecito mirando por debajo. Donde habitan los pichones Lenny? Ya cayó el que andaba a ser Ahora verán los cabrones Ay, ya se secó el jacalito Donde colgaba mi espada Tahiti, dear boy, Tahiti 
If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Here you are. Eat up. Thanks. Tell you boys about the time I was hanged. Oh, I think so. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. And I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Jumped in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm. Singing, home boys, home, it's where I want to be. Home boys, home, with the girl on either knee. We got a little ribbon tarpaulin, had on that coat and navy blue. Let him climb the rigging like he said. He climbed the you. <laughs> he rumbled me, he talked was over me, he screwed me to the wall. Or he never, never happened, was only invented like to make no you feel something out of nothing. Makes no difference. He caught me out in the Make sure nothing makes a difference. Can't see how. Tide comes in, tide goes out. You was born, you die. In between, you do what you do. Ain't no good, ain't no bad, just things that make you feel good or make you feel sad. And just the length of time between being born and dying, that's all there is. <laughs> Ain't no old man judging man. Ain't no heaven. And maybe there is damnation. But I think I know what that'll be like. And I'm gonna be right at home there. That's it. See it for what the hell it is. Another song? Come on, fellas. What do you got for me? Loiter and suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, very kind. He started as a even line in 1849. It all opposition they defied. The people must be hog or die. Your crowd in here was smelly man. As fat men all are in a pan. Misty plug tobacco smoke. Ladies are compelled to sit with dresses and tobacco spit. Gentlemen don't seem to care. But talk of politics and swear. There's a thieving line in 1849. All opposition they defy. So the people must do dog or die. Drivers, when they feel inclined, will have you walking on behind. 
shoulders the welcome the home. Help them out some money home. home. They promise when you're pale, you pay. And you'll you'll have, have to walk only half the way. Then you start with a cunning laugh. You'll have to push the other half. Started as a thieving man in 1849. A opposition they defy, so people must root hard to die. Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <sighs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. Listen. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Whatever you say. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan. My friends. My loved ones. A plan. It is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place. And we are gonna find our own paradise. Our own heaven. Tahiti. Fiji. Australia, the real new world, not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has acted out its vengeance, vengeance on. We are gonna be free. Free. Yes, we are Dutch. That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch. So good. I better lie down. Pretty fired up there. We are going to do this, Arthur. It ain't just talk. I believe. <laughs> 